Hi, I'm Scott Campbell. Welcome to my window painting tutorials. Lesson 53, Monkey Feeding a Crocodile. Well, before we get started in the actual tutorial, I wanted to talk about um, this video and this character of the monkey feeding a crocodile. And it's not just that it's a monkey feeding a crocodile, it's all about emotion and the interaction between these two characters and how people, when they see this window splash, they relate to it because it's emotional. And that's what it's all about, is instilling emotions into your characters. And uh, I know you're not always allowed to do that. Sometimes people just want to put sale fifty percent off on your splashes but if you have a chance to use emotion and use characters do so because it really it's just for one it's fun and uh, and people really enjoy it and it uh, it attracts more attention and gets more business for the client too so here what I've done is I um, the client said they they said do whatever you want and I'm like anything I want huh and they go sure so um, I thought dinosaurs, but then I just did dinosaurs on the party supply store, and I've done aliens on this store before. <laughs> so I thought, well, how about a jungle theme? And they're like, yeah, that sounds good, a jungle theme. So I came up with the crocodile and the the money inter the monkey interacting, and um, I like the contrast of the tiny little monkey and the, you know the crocodile. But I made the crocodile super friendly. It's probably one of the friendliest crocodiles ever. <laughs> Because crocodiles usually play the evil villain character in the Disney films and animated stuff. But uh, I made him more friendly. But even though he's friendly, the, the monkey is really reluctant to feed him the french fries because he sees those big jaws and those big teeth. So there's a little bit of uh, fear and anxiety in the monkey. And uh, it's, uh, you know, interacted with the happy crocodile. It's a really good juxtaposition. Hey everybody, how's it going? Thanks for joining me again. Okay, I've done all the crocodile, the design, and uh, freehanded on the window with a roller, and uh, did the layout and penciled it out with my finger. And now I'm doing the second coat. Okay, next I'm going into the mouth area because I want to make sure I get around all the teeth. And so, instead of painting the teeth again, I'm going ahead and painting around them. Now I'm going in with the the base green, and uh, I'm leaving his uh, chest open because I'm going to do a kind of a lighter greenish white color for that. So this I'm just doing, going in quickly, uh, doing the green. And this is a little bit lighter green. It doesn't really show up on the video, but it's a little bit lighter, so I. I blended in a little bit of white and uh, and then also on the eyes too I do I've been doing a lot of blending lately and shading a little on certain colors now I went with a kind of a darker green and shaded a little too here I'm touching up the uh, the white on the teeth doing the cleaning up the edge add a little bit more white to the eyes and the and the bottom of the alligator now I'm doing the, the flesh tones on the monkey and then going in and doing the, the brown fur of the monkey which is most of it. Doing his tail. His tail's holding a the thing of the french fries. <laughs> and his eyes are closed because he's laughing. He's kind of nervously laughing as he's trying to feed the crocodile the french fries. Now I'm painting in the french fries. French fries I usually do with white and yellow and a, and a tiny bit of brown color, but mostly yellow, yellowish white color. Okay, now I'm going in with the second coat of green. So you can see how it's becoming opaque now and solid. I do two coats on a lot of colors. second coat on the french fry 
basket. And this, now here's the second coat on the monkey fur, the brown. And it's like I was cleaning up something with a razor, cleaning up some of the white lines from the... Oh no, I'm painting the water. <laughs> I was putting tape along the edge. You can see blue tape at the top, and then I was painting in the water. Now I'm painting in a red color for the, and then kind of doing a little bit of a shadowing, blending color right here with the red and and the um, the pinkish red color, I'm blending it together a little on the tongue, and also I gave the the crocodile red eyes. Here I do a highlight on the tongue, a lighter pink color. And now I'm going in with the darker green. You just take the green you have, you add a tiny bit of dark blue, or you can add a tiny bit of black. And you just you want a little bit darker color. And remember the paint dries about fifteen percent darker than the color. Like you could make two colors exactly the same. One could be dry and you could make one try to match it, the second color, but it would come out darker. So that's an art. You got it's kind of tricky. Okay, now here I'm going in with the lighter green. I take the same green, I add a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow to it, come up with this highlight green. And there's a lot of uh, details on the crocodile's face. I don't paint in each and every scale, but I kind of suggest them, So, which is enough, because once you trap it in black and you, you do all the black stuff, it's fine. Here I'm painting some blue around the teeth, a little bit of shadowing. It's a really light blue. It's the same color as the water, but I added white to it. And I'm going to also use that same blue to highlight the water. And when you do the water, you just do little tiny lines. And in the back, the farther it gets away, the lines are smaller. And you do kind of a thing around the crocodile, a little round thing to show. Here I'm doing some, I use the highlight on the basket for the shadow of the monkey fur. So a lot of times I'll use the same color for both. I think I do the then the french fries shadow uh, becomes the highlight for the fur see so which is more economical and it works so you might as well go for it save some time it looks good too here I'm highlighting the the monkey and doing some stuff in the Little highlights in the eyes too of the I'm just working on that. Yeah, those are the highlights of the, the monkey's face. Now I'm doing some highlights on the uh, a really light, light yellow, almost white color for the French fry highlights. And then some motion lines. The monkey's going, ah. here I zoomed in a little so you could see the detail shot of me working on the, the black on the face of the crocodile. As you saw in the other video, I love doing I love doing the black. The black is the most exciting part. And there's a lot of details on this guy, so he took a while, but it paid off because it's just it's a beautiful design. And here I am just continuing on the outlining. And I'm almost done. I'm really proud of this. Uh, not all my windows I've been proud of in, in my life, but this is one of them. People loved it. A little detail shot of me outlining the hand. And that's about it. And uh, so enjoy the rest. I just wrap it up by showing you this.